Yo, I'm about to go quit my job. I'm putting in my two weeks. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dev, and I'm back again with another video. Um, if you read the title correctly, you know that uh, I quit my $60,000 a year job. I know, kind of crazy, but before we get to what I want to talk about in today's video, I want to play a little video that I recorded. Um, this was before I got on my like kind of YouTube wave, you could say, and started producing all the videos that I made over the summer, as you guys have saw. Um, I recorded this um, back in February, so please excuse the way I was holding the camera at the time. I didn't know you had to hold it a certain way in order for it to look a certain way. Um, but anyways, made this video. I came home from work, and I was just feeling depressed for lack of any other better words. Um, so check this out and uh, we'll talk about it once uh, once we get through it. What's going on y'all? Just getting home from work and just in deep thought. Um, I'm in a time in my life right now where I'm at a job that I don't know that I love it. Well, actually I know I don't love it. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to realize that it's, it's time for a change and a pretty massive change. Something that I've been doing a lot of research on is, you know, happiness. Um, I can't say that I'm happy doing what I'm doing every day right now. Um, I can't say that I'm excited to get up tomorrow morning to go do this over again. I can't say I really have anything to look forward to right now. Um, and I know it might sound crazy. I know, you know, I'm blessed, you know what I mean? But I don't like what I'm doing right now. And I don't really feel like I'm making any kind of impact on anyone's life. Um, I'm not really helping anybody, just really helping myself feed my pockets. So chasing happiness, um, I've decided today, um, don't know what today's date is, somewhere in February, end of February, something like that. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna choose the happiness route. And a lot of people might not understand um, a lot of people might think I'm crazy for making the move that I'm about to make, but to be honest, oh well. <laughs> think I'm crazy, but last time I checked, I ain't getting no support on my bills. Ain't nobody calling me talking about you need help this month paying the mortgage on your house, Dev. So, you know what I mean? I got to do what I got to do to take care of myself and make sure I'm cool here. Because God ain't put me on this planet to just go through life confused and wondering why I'm here. Like, God has a purpose for me. And I'm gonna try to find that. And I'm gonna choose to do every day what's gonna make me happy. And nothing's gonna get in my way. My family can say whatever, don't really care. Uh, my friends can say whatever, don't really care. Um, like I said, last time I checked, nobody's offering to help me out with any form of responsibilities on my end. So as long as I'm taking care of myself, no one should care what I do every day. So decided guys, um, that this is it, you know, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a change and pretty drastic one. And we're gonna go from there. I'm chasing happiness from here on out. Man, I don't wanna come home a year from now feeling the same way that I'm feeling now. I wanna be excited about living life. I wanna be excited about chasing my purpose and going after what I truly want in life. Um, it's not money. I've learned for me, it's, it's not money. Um, I wanna have plenty of money to be able to do things that I wanna do, but I'm not chasing money no more. When I graduated from college, I was truly chasing money. I went into sales so that I could get the bag. And what I've learned is now that I have the bag, now that I have money in my pocket, now that I can go out and get what I want to get, um, it's not making me as happy as I thought it would. You know, I thought money could really make you happy. <laughs> and, you know, it gets to a point where, you know, you, you ask yourself, all right, is there more? Like, is this it? Have I made it to the top? Like, and I know I haven't made it to the top. Like, I'm not a millionaire or anything like that. Um, but I live a nice life. And I've realized that chasing more and more and more and more money is a dead end game. There's always going to be somebody with more money. There's always going to be somebody with a nicer car. There's always going to be somebody um, that has nicer things. It is what it is. But my life is more than materialistic things. My life is more meaningful than that. I want to have an impact on people's lives. I want to be a leader. I want to be a mentor. I want to be a role model to people. I want people to look up to me and be like, man, like, I want to be like that when I grow up. You know what I mean? So it's bigger than money, um, chasing purpose, chasing happiness. Um, and God has a plan for my life. And I'm truly going to find that. 
And like I said, a lot of people might not like to see the moves that I'm about to make here in the near future, but it is what it is. I have to do what's best for Devin. If Devin isn't happy, Devin cannot help other people be happy. But if Devin is happy, Devin can help other people be happy. So I know y'all don't want to see me down, and I don't want to see me down either. So I got to do what I got to do. Um, I hope you support me. If you don't, oh, well, don't really care. <laughs> Won't keep doing me. So, um, you know, if that bothers you, keep your thoughts to yourself. And, hey, God is good all the time. He's never made a mistake in my life. He's never made a mistake in yours either. So, you know, I trust and believe in God. Um, and I'm going to keep following his way. And if this is the way he's pushing me, hey, he's never took a wrong turn in my life. So. I'm going to keep following this path. Woo. Every time I see that video, it's like, oh my gosh, like, what was I doing? Um, I felt stuck, y'all, as y'all saw in the video. Like, I literally felt stuck. Um, I want to tell y'all the reason I'm making this video. So, I'm not making this video. I'm not one of those guys that I want people to feel bad for me for any sort of reason because I put myself in that situation and I own that. You know what I mean? So, I wanted to be there. That's what I signed up for and that's what I was doing. So that is not the reason I'm making this video. So if you feel like that's why I'm making this video, you can shut it off and go watch another video because I'm not that type of dude, trust me. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I know for a fact, especially after working in that experience, that there are so many people. I am going to repeat. There are so many people that wake up every day and are unhappy. Yes, unhappy, miserable. They feel stuck. They feel like they can't climb out. And our society nowadays has kind of forced that upon us with so many things. You know, you got this silver spoon script that you're supposed to follow. You're supposed to graduate from high school, get good grades. Then you're supposed to go to college. And most of the time we're taking out student loan debt that we should be taking out, but we don't know any better. And then we graduate and we're forced to work a job that we feel like we should be working so that we can pay back the debt or so that we can make the world proud or so that we can make ourselves proud or at least think that we're making ourselves proud. But that is the reason I'm making this video is because so many people guys, so many people are waking up miserable and I want to be the light in the dark tunnel. When I made that video, it was February 26th and I was in a dark place. I was, I could say depressed. Um, I don't suffer from depression, but I feel like everybody has some form of seasonal depression or will fall into a, a state of depression from time to time if they're in a dark season of their life. And I was in a dark season of my life. I had been um, with the company that I was with for about a year and a half at that time. And I had hit a space where I no longer wanted to continue doing what I was doing. I hit a space where I realized that as I was waking up every day, I wasn't happy. I was waking up, going to work. I was coming home from work, basically going to sleep, waking up again the next morning, going to work, coming home, basically going to sleep and waking up, going to work. And it basically got to a point where it was like, where's my life at? You know, what happened? What happened to the life that I had in high school where, you know, I was having fun? You know what I mean? Like what happened to the life where I was looking forward to going to do certain things? It seems like the only thing that I could focus on was my job. And it got to a point where it was like, man, like I can't keep doing this job if it's making me feel this way. I'm making this video, guys, because you can't keep doing what you're doing every day if you're unhappy. You just can't. You can't. You saw in that video, guys, it looked like I wanted to cry because I did. I was in a deep state. I was I was miserable um, and I did not know what to do. I did not know where to start. I just knew that I had to turn to God because I had nowhere to go, guys. Like I was stuck. Like I was <laughs> guys. If it, it, I wish you could have been there. I was miserable. The world around me was dark. Everything from the outside looks great. Oh, Devin, you're you're doing so well, man. You, you got that beautiful 2018 Toyota Camry company car, white with the tinted windows. You live in labs. You got the company cell phone, Devin. You got the laptop, man. What what can be wrong in your life? You know, what, what can be wrong? And, you know, honestly, that's when I realized, you know, it's not about what other people think is best for you. It's all about what you think is best for you. And I realized that everybody from the outside thought I was successful. But I realized that success is not defined by other people's opinions of me. Success is defined by my opinion of myself. 
and when I realized that I wasn't happy, when I realized I wasn't happy, um, I realized that I wasn't personally successful. I did not consider myself successful. So I had to realize at that point in February, I said, Devin, we got to make some changes, man. We can't keep waking up like this. Um, and I ended up bouncing through a couple of things. I'll talk about the couple of things that I explored um, in future videos because I got a whole series coming out. It's kind of talking about this subject because it's real. And if you're not experiencing it, your mom might experience it. Your sister might experience it. Your boyfriend might experience it. Your uncle might experience it. Your best friend might be an experience it. So I feel like we need more light shed on this sad subject. You know, like we don't have to go through life living to impress other people. You know, it's all about what makes us happy, not about what makes them happy because ultimately we're the ones waking up every day and living our life. So that is why I'm making this video. Um, you saw the title of the video. I am done, guys. I am free. Now, did it happen February 27th? No, it did not happen February 27th. February 27th, I woke up, I went to work, I came home, I went to sleep, and then the 28th, I repeated that process. It is now November 10th, and I have been free from my experience working for a company that I was not completely happy with. Like I said, it was nothing wrong with the company. It was my experience with the company. Um, I personally did not find the work that I was doing meaningful every day, meaning it did not feed my soul, which meant that it was not producing happiness in my life. So it didn't happen that soon, but it is now November 10th of 2019. So February to November, that's almost like a year almost, guys, but it was about eight months that it took and I was able to get something with God. I'm not going to say I because I'm done with that, y'all. Like it was not me. It was God, clearly. Um, but God was able to move some things around in my life. He opened some doors that I didn't even know were possible to be open, guys. I ended up buying a whole nother property. Um, God blessed me with some networking opportunities as to where I met a couple people. God blessed me with an opportunity from um, a, a business partner of mine that I'm going to be doing some business with here in the near future. Um, and God just has a way, guys, of turning things upside down. Guys, you saw how I looked in that video and you see how I look now. I hope I'm shining because I am. Um, and I just really wanted to make this video to show you that, yes, if you are unhappy, if you are miserable every day, you don't have to stay there. You have a choice. I had a choice on February 26th. I had a choice to keep doing that, stay miserable, keep feeling bad for myself, stay unhappy, or I had a choice to turn to God and, you know, start praying about the issue, start talking to different people about what was going on. Um, and just, I put it all in, y'all. I put it all in. At that point, most people would just stay down and just continue, you know, going through the ropes. But me, I had to keep fighting. I had to keep fighting, y'all. And I kept fighting and boom, God me bless, God bless me with the property. Kept fighting and boom, God bless me with another opportunity. Boom, God bless me with a business opportunity that I'm gonna get to go into the, some business with a fellow partner of mine. Um, so keep your head up, keep grinding, keep your faith in God. The biggest test that God has put me through this past year is learning to walk on faith. And that is truly what I have had to learn how to do. This leap of faith by leaving my corporate job um, has not been easy to say the least, guys. I, I walked away from a, a free card, guys. How many of y'all got free cars? Exactly. Nobody. Exactly. Exactly. Right, right. You would, well, maybe one or two. I, I don't know. I don't know. You might. Anyways, I walked away from a brand new free car, guys. When I started with this company last year, I got a brand new car and I literally dropped that off my last day because I am choosing happiness over doing something every day that looks good to everybody else, but was making me miserable on the inside. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you've not, I don't know what like what else are you doing? Like I'm just playing, but if you like videos like this, um, please subscribe to my channel. If you care to follow my journey, please subscribe to my channel. Um, but also follow me on Instagram at the real Devin Clark um, to keep up with me there as well. And like I said, I'm gonna be continuing a series in this um, in this like video series, you could say. The next video of mine that I'm going to be making is going to be titled Why I Left Corporate America. And that's going to kind of tell you about my whole corporate experience, tell you how I got, onto the, got into the experience um, and why I ended up leaving, how I became unhappy in the process and uh, 
just in case you know you're in a similar situation and you want to hear somebody's words of advice on how they uh how they escape that that feeling on the inside so thank you again for watching this video if you have not already hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram at the road devin clark and i will see you next video peace